That's a bit too big. Okay, that seems to be alright for me. Okay, uh, yeah. So when you attach the muzzle flash particle to your main player, in this case, in my main camera, and um, within that muzzle flash, you want to attach three lights. Now, those three lights you can place anywhere. Those lights are basically giving the gun more realism. So when the muzzle flash fires, it gives a little bit of flash and those lights are indicating the flash. So if I turn it on, you can see the lights reflecting over here. I'm going to turn the other one on and this one's reflecting the orange and this one's reflecting another brownish kind of from the back. Now those are those are lights only appear when the muzzle flash fires so it's like the flash of the muzzle flash and if you're in a dark area you can see it take it full effect and um, <clears throat> you want to apply these three lights to the muzzle flash particle and disable them and they have to be the child of the muzzle flash object and then drag the muzzle flash onto your main camera or wherever the gun's shooting from and you want to create a new game object and name it particle holder now this is going to hold all our particles that are going to collide with something for example sparks they're going to collide with metal and it doesn't look like a spark I know um, that's going to collide with the metal objects for example cubes like this Which contain metal on them and when our raycast collides with it it's gonna bring up that particle but in this case this is a wood our raycast is gonna produce a wood particle for these and at the moment I haven't got any wood particles so I'm just gonna use the sparks for all of them and when I get them when I get all the particles ready I will show you how to apply to them how to apply them to the right objects so yes you should have all your particles set up just like this now the particle holder has must not be uh, a child of anything it must be just separate so just drag it into your hierarchy mode and drop it don't attach it to your main player or the gun or nothing so it has to be separate completely okay so that's how you should have your particles organized and let's start coding this actually before we do that let's start making the functions we need First of all, we need a new void. Uh, I'm going to call this muzzle flash show. Open bracket, close bracket, open curly brace, close curly brace. Void ray shoot. void play shoot audio open bracket close bracket open curly brace close curly brace uh, void play wife <laughs> void play reload audio open bracket close bracket open curly brace and close curly brace and the last one we need is a void reload open bracket close bracket open curly brace now actually to be honest the reload isn't the last one there's something else we need to make but that comes in when we start getting to the reload because in JavaScript if you go to the reload function you will notice it's pretty straightforward you have a wait for a second then do this but in C-sharp you can't use wait for a second just like this you have to use it in a separate function something called I enumerator and that will take your timer and then I have to apply all of this within that and then call it in the reload 
and we'll get to them. So there's some differences between these and other than that most of this is the same. So the first thing we want to do is we want to set our bullets. So bullets left is equal to bullets per clip okay then also hit particle dot emit now you have two types of emits over here one with a capital E and one with a lowercase e you want to select the lowercase e and put it as equals false second one is muzzle flash dot emit equals false so as soon as we start the game it's going to set our particle system to false okay and once we've done that we're going to start making the raycast so the first thing we want is raycast hit and it's going to be called hit we also want a vector free and this is going to be direction direction ray and it's going to be equals to our it's going to be equal to transform dot trans dot transform direction open bracket vector free which way it's going to be facing and forward so we want a line to face forward which is in z-axis and we're going to draw this line so debug debug dot draw ray open bracket transform dot position basically draw a line for more object that this script is combined to direction ray times by the range that's going to be the range of our line then we want the color of the line so color dot yellow I'm going to put my line yellow you can have whatever you like the colors available okay that draws the line we want to start actually creating it now so if open bracket physics dot raycast open bracket transform dot position comma direction ray comma now in order to put hit in c sharp you first have to put out hit because basically you want to shoot a ray that's going out that's how you do it in C sharp and comma and then the range close bracket close bracket open curly brace and close curly brace 